Greetings. This is Time Rider with Chapter 4. When I did my last restoration, I had indicated that I had another project going on, and I was hoping to get it out before the weekend. Well, here it is the weekend, and I am going to show you that project today. My truck is packed, though, and tomorrow morning, after bacon and eggs and coffee, I'm going to begin the one-hour drive uh, out to my new location and begin the big move. I don't know how much time I'll have to do restorations until I get done. Hopefully I'll have a chance to get one or two in. But hopefully this restoration, and it's actually a custom, but hopefully it will hold you over, those of you who follow me, until I do the next one. So here we go. Let's get into it. If you recall when I did the tanker truck, I had to strip some pieces out of a pipe truck. And when I got done, I had all these little bits and pieces of pipe trucks and decided, you know what, there's enough here to make something. So I have a bunch of these pipe trucks, so I decided to do something different with this one because, frankly, I don't have any pipes. So here we go. Because it had already been disassembled, I decided to start with some of the parts and the, f the front part of the chassis was kind of rusty so I had seen others who soaked them in vinegar and I thought I'd try that to see if I could remove the rust that way. I won't make you uh, listen to the hamster dance again but I had to remove the wheels off of the chassis or I'm sorry off of the body that I decided to use. I don't know if you noticed but uh, one of the originals was kind of busted in a couple of places so this is the one that was still pretty much intact and Here's me pulling off the wheels. And I wanted to take a good look at the chassis. Uh, you can see that the paint is pretty chipped up. There's some rust. And there's some kind of gunk in the front part uh, that I'm going to have to get out of there. Uh, but it looks pretty straight. So I think, I think this one will work. You can see the rust around the wheels and there's that gunk again on the front. With all the wheels off, it's time to do what we do which is drill out the center post so I can put the whole thing back together again at some point. I always like to use a little bit of oil before I uh, both tap and drill. And here I am drilling and tapping. No hamster dance song though. I wouldn't want to uh, offend anybody with obnoxious music. And put in a button screw and I should be ready to go. The axles were pretty rusty so I took and, uh, a piece of sandpaper uh, 400 grit and put each of the axles into my drill and ran them across the sandpaper to get the rust off. For whatever reason the vinegar didn't work very well so here I am with my nylon brush, seeing if I can clean the rust off that way. Gently, gently. Looking over this casting, the paint looked like it would probably come off with the uh, citrus stripper, which seems to be the weaker of the two, so... I shot it up on Marty's Magnificent Matte and got ready to get the paint off of it. Once all was said and done, it was time to get out the toothbrush and the dishwashing soap and clean all of that paint off. All those crevices where the wheels are really a pain. And of course, once it was clean, I went after it with my dental picks and my toothpicks and my safety pins and cleaned the gunk out of the front grill. All of those little areas uh, right over the wheel fenders or whatever you want to call them, boy they were a pain. But as you can see I think I got the casting pretty clean and ready for paint. So here we go and I got out my Tamiya light gray primer which as I've said more times than I can count I really like. Trying my best to get it in all of the uh, small areas above the fenders and 
the wheel wells and inside the cab the bed taking a close look at it there and I told you this was going to be a custom job so I decided not to paint it red uh, I actually mixed up something using uh, testers red and testers white and testers orange I was trying for kind of a tangerine bright orange something along that lines uh, I'll be honest with you, I didn't nail the color exactly where I wanted it, but I was in the ballpark, so I went ahead and painted the, painted the body of the model. It took a couple of coats to get it where I really wanted it. So I told you I was doing something different with this, and I don't know if you can see here, but uh, I taped it off and painted the bed black. And I apologize for not showing you that step. It wasn't any big deal. I just got so engrossed in what I was doing, I forgot to film it. But here I am, uh, after I waited a day or so, spraying the whole thing down with clear coat. You know, one thing I will say about this particular cab, and they use it on a, a lot of different models, is this bumper is really, it's badly situated. A lot of times the ends break off, and it always gets to be a hot mess when kids play with it. Uh, so you usually wind up having to take some sandpaper after it to get all the, all the chunks and imperfections out of it in order to make it look halfway decent before you put it into your your project. So here I am, I'm going to hit it with that uh, chrome pen, uh, which I use on quite a few models that I do. I, I really like this better than just the silver, and uh, on restorations I might use the silver rather than the chrome, but when I'm doing custom work I don't mind using the chrome. I hit the grill with it too, and then I Notice that I had kind of went a little heavy on one end, so I needed to kind of uh, kind of get some of it out of there. So I went after it with a cotton bud or Q-tip or whatever you want to call it. Just kind of rolled it a little bit to take a little bit out of the grill openings, and then just sort of retouched it. About a hundred years ago, I worked in an auto parts store, and the owner used to do these tapes, and he would always say, T-I-P, tip, on these tapes before he gave you a tip. So what I'm doing here is something that I learned uh, watching uh, Matchbox uh, Marty uh, restore. You take a little bit of uh, black paint. I'm using Tamiya X1, and about... 10 times as much thinner as you use paint and you mix it up and you wind up with a wash a lot like a baker using an egg wash only this is kind of a tire wash and I use it on a lot of my models because it really brings the tires back to life uh, and I usually do both sides so as soon as I finish the one side here I let it dry for a little bit and then I did the other the window had a little bit of uh, paint on it so I saw this on another channel using fume free easy off oven cleaner uh, to get paint off of the uh, windscreens. I imagine it works probably about the same as uh, using brake fluid. Uh, I just didn't feel like walking out into my cold garage to get some brake fluid so uh, here I am using the easy off and it actually did a pretty good job. I did wind up using some very fine sandpaper on it, uh, so I decided to do the old uh, dip it in floor wax and cover it with a cup so it doesn't get dust on it, and actually that worked really, really well, uh, better than I thought it would.
So here I am getting ready to put the thing back together. Uh, I used some rubberized adhesive uh, to hold the windscreen in place. Just uh, dropped it in there and pushed it into place with a Q-tip. I did something a little uh, special with this too. I wanted to make a kind of a lumber truck or railroad tie truck so I went and got some balsa wood and made a little bit of cargo for this thing so that because uh, I didn't have any pipes like I said earlier in the video and it'll take me a while to get some pipes and I have another one of these stake trucks and uh, maybe at some point I'll do a restoration but this of course uh, as I said is not a restoration it's a custom so here's a little remembrance of where it was that I started with a bunch of bits and pieces and a broken casting and one that was good but missing the front and a cracked windshield and now I guess it's time for the final reveal so here you go the matchbox number 10 pipe truck customized to be the number 10 lumber truck This is Time Rider at Chapter 4. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and tell your friends. And I hope to present something else for you real soon.